Yep. Right here at the Supreme Court, Republic of the Philippines. I'm just trying to give y'all proof to let you know I ain't playing. Your boy is here on the streets where it smells like piss and urine and shit in the morning. Hey, what's good, what's good, what's good, beautiful people? This is not a drill, this is not a drill. This is not a mirage, this is not a facade. And <laughs> Dr. Mike is officially in the airport. Check me out. Hold on. So what we got going on over here. Oh yeah, man. Bruh, we are official. Passport in hand, bam. What we got? Born pass in hand, bam. Oh, we legit, baby. And of course, check me out. Life would not be complete without the International Passport Association t-shirt. Sorry if you couldn't see it very well. But oh yeah, we ready. Dr. Mike is officially on his way back to the Philippines, but beforehand, I wanted to talk to you guys real quick while I had a little bit of time because a lot of people were asking me, how do I deal with jet lag? And how do I deal with, uh, you know, dealing with the long flight going to the Philippines? Um, as far as I know, maybe my flight is about 14 hours or 16 hours. Depending, I can't remember. Something to that effect, sometimes even up to 20 hours. So I want to talk about that real quick. Um, what I usually do or what I usually recommend is if you are a connoisseur of the alcoholic beverages of sorts, take you a couple of shots, maybe a glass of red wine, calm your nerves just before the flight, guaranteed to push you right out. Or you can take some over-the-counter medicines. They have uh, melatonin and uh, also I recommend Benadryl if you have allergies because a Benadryl pill or two will definitely put you down. <clears throat> but if you really have a hard time sleeping and you feel like sleeping is not something that's really, really going to work for you, I do recommend, you know, using and utilizing what they give you on board you know usually on these long flights you have a lot of movies to watch i recommend you watching three four five movies at a time i mean whatever it is that can help pass the time when you're not sleeping you should be watching movies if you don't have movies on board make sure you put some movies on your phone make sure you do something some activity play a game on your phone i mean whatever it takes man to help pass the time because usually when you have something that's keeping you busy bam It'll definitely help things go by a little faster. I would also like to tell you guys um, how I deal with the jet lag. You know, where I am in the United States here on the East Coast, um, we are 12 hours difference from the Philippines. I make sure that I keep that on my world clock. So when I check my phone, when I'm in these long flights, I like to pattern my sleep patterns around the time that it is in the Philippines. Think about it. If you are, if you can look at your clock and you can say, okay, it's about two or three o'clock in the afternoon. I like to stay up, do whatever I can, do the onboard thing. But if I can see it's about six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night, normally when I'm about to catch my, uh, my sleep, what I would do is that's when I will sleep, all right? So that I can acclimate, acclimate myself to my time zone, wherever it is in the world that I am going, especially if it's long, long flights, all right? Just wanted to give you guys that quick tidbit of information. I'm gonna come back to you guys in a minute. <laughs> Who knows where I'm gonna be next? All right. Hi. Here you go, man. How are you? I'm good. You're all set. Thank you. Thank you. Hi there. Would you mind checking this right here? It looks like it could be a little bit too wide. Can I put it in the um, as a no. personal item? No. Even if it doesn't there. fit. But what if it fits in the overhead? If it doesn't fit in here, it's not gonna fit in the overhead. Okay. So what? So do we... I'll have to gate check it. It'll go to carousel. <laughs> okay, so where do I pick it up? Do I pick it up before I go to my international flight, or how? Oh, you have an international flight? Yeah. Okay, well then you can pick it up plane side in New York. Okay. Yep, it'll be delivered right off the plane. Okay, do I need to put my name on it or something like that, or? Nope, that's all you need, and this is gonna be delivered right there. We're gonna make sure it gets on, okay? Do you have any laptops? In nah, here? everything should be not. Um, yeah, well, it's not really anything important, but... <laughs> I promise it'll get there. <laughs> That's my favorite bag. Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, all right. To show your personal belongings, this will allow those waiting patiently behind you to pass. We're getting us on our way just a bit quicker this evening. 1186, non-stop service to New York's John F. Kennedy International Airport. Welcome well aboard.
Yep, they made me check my bag. <laughs> I thought I had it. Right, all of these people here, they're going to Tel Aviv, AKA the motherland for some of them. I think that's really cool. Right now, I'm about to get on my favorite thing in the world, man. I don't know what it is about this little tranny thingy, but this shit here is so much fun. I be over here coasting, chilling, having fun. I think this shit right here was invented for lazy people like me. When you don't feel like walking, <laughs> this is what you do. Oh, by the way, my gate number is over there in the corner. You can't see it. It's B27. There's like nobody over here, though. That's crazy. Oh, I didn't tell you guys my route. My route is uh, I'm coming from NC. Right now, I'm in JFK. From JFK, I'm on my way to Taipei. That is in Taiwan. After that, I'll be in Manila. So we just chilling, man, here in the uh, John F. Kennedy International Airport. If you want to know why I hate traveling, this is it right here. Look at this, boy. These prices are ridiculous. All I want to do is quench my thirst, but they're going to charge me an arm, a leg, and a foot to do it. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to commit, though, because I'm thirsty. But I ain't getting no Gatorade for no five dollars. You done lost your mind. I'm gonna probably get this here. Yeah, that seems about right. Finally made it to Taiwan. Boy, that 14 hour flight was brutal, man, but I did it. Whew. The hardest part is out the way. That's all I gotta say. Gotta brush up on my language real quick. <laughs> ah, shit. Taiwan, Taiwan, Taiwan. <laughs> That's Coke. That's Coke, too in a different language. <laughs> I just realized something. I am truly blessed with the gift of narcolepsy or the gift of unconsciousness because out of that 14 hour and 15 minute flight, I know I slept at least 10 of those. And then the other three or four hours or so was spent watching movies. I'm telling you, man. That's kind of how it has to work, man. The only thing I hate about flying and traveling though right now is I smell like shit. <laughs> you know, I haven't been able to wash up, but I'll just wash up when I get to uh, Manila. When we get to the condo, screw it. It doesn't matter. You know, it's all going to be worth it in the end because the next time you hear this voice, the next time you see this face, I will be reporting live from Manila, Philippines. And I hope you are ready. Oops. I hope you individuals are ready because we about to have the time of our lives, man. I once told everybody that this is the summer of Dr. Mike TV. I ain't playing. Oh, we gonna get it in. So stay tuned. The next time you see this face or hear this voice, we will be in Manila. All right, guys, I got my shit, got my luggage back here. By the way, that Rockland bag held up very, very well on the flight. So at this particular moment, I'm here, baby. I'm here in the Philippines, man. I'm excited as fuck, man. You guys have no fucking idea. But I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I'm gonna tell you what you can expect from the Dr. Mike TV channel now that he is officially in the Philippines. We are about to make Philippine vlogging great again. <laughs> Let me explain. You know, I'm just here to provide that fresh perspective, all right? That's all I want to do, and I want to have fun doing it. Now, of course, there's going to be a couple of you guys that's going to say some hateful things. I've already expected, and I'm already ready for it, but it's all good. Because I'm still going to have fun doing it. 
<laughs> and there's not too much that people can do about it. All right, so first things first, I'm about to go run over this money changer real quick and see what the rates are, and we'll figure it out, all right? Today's rates, 53.10. Well, when your car don't work, you gotta go back to the counter. Mm. I gotta get my free SIM card too. I'm gonna show you guys a quick something real quick. Right here are the yellow meter taxis. These ones, they won't screw you over, but they're gonna cost you a lot. And where I'm going, it's gonna cost me like 380. You can always get the regular taxis, the white ones. Nah, I'm good, baby. The regular ones are always down there. But of course, since when does Dr. Mike do anything easy? I'm gonna take you guys all the way down here. Follow with me, because we're taking buses. I repeat, this is not a drill. We are not taking yellow taxis, white taxis, no grabs, no nothing. We are going straight for Bay 14, and we're going to get on the bus, guys. Like I said, Dr. Mike don't do anything easy. And this is a pro move right here. Oh, yes, that's my bus right there. Bacladan, MRT, LRT. So we have to wait. Man, I don't miss Philippine traffic. That was a rough ride, guys. Now to the LRT, MRT we go. Oh, yes, mom. I need to go to where uh, Robinson's Mall is. Oh, Kingston. Pedro Hill. I see you. Torito, salama. You have a good one. Alright guys, so I made a huge mistake, alright, I will admit, play is mess up too, so apparently I got off too early, so I had to get another card, pay another 15 pesos so that I can make it to my actual stop. Hey man, when in the Philippines, man, mistakes are gonna happen, but let me give it to you for the real. 
if I did not do this route, I would have spent like 300 to 400 pesos to take taxis, meter taxis, and white taxis and shit. You know how much this cost me all together? Even with my mistake, it only cost me 50 pesos. It was uh, 15 pesos for each mess up, so that's 30 plus the 20 for the bus. Welcome to a budget, a budgeter's traveler's dream. Oh, I'm gonna give it to you raw, real, and uncut. Now I'm just waiting for my next one, and then when we get to my next stop, we gonna be all right, all right? See, those are the people waiting to go southbound. I can't see them, because my big ass head in the way. Yeah, they got people going southbound, eastbound, all the way down, and these people behind me, they're going with me. <laughs> so yeah, we're just waiting. Well, my face is greasy, but they'll be all right. Sweaty day, baby. Philippines, we travel with the locals, man. <laughs> Trust me, I ain't too proud of it. I ain't too proud. I ain't trying to hang with my people. All right, guys, we're gonna hit the street real quick, and then we're going right to the condo. Let's get it. Well, I told you, man, Philippine traffic is ridiculous, man. They be all blocking intersections and stuff, man. This traffic is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm trying to cross the street now. That ain't happening. Oh, snap. <laughs> Gotta follow the people, man. Follow the people. Hey. Woo. I didn't die. <laughs> I didn't die yet. I'm telling you, man, in the Philippines, it's rough. There is no right away at all. There is no right away. Damn, I guess I gotta run like they did. All right. Hey, yo, have you ever played that game Frogger? This game reminds me a lot of fucking Frogger, man. You gotta run between cars and stuff, it's crazy. I'ma get it though, shit. Oh, that lady's tripping. Okay, we good. I made it. Yep, right here at the Supreme Court. Republic of the Philippines. I'm just trying to give y'all proof to let you know I ain't playing. Your boy is here on the streets where it smells like pissing, urine, and shit in the morning. Oh, yes. That's where we at. <laughs> the Philippines. I don't care, man. I love it, guys. I swear I do. The University of the Philippines, Manila. School right there. I have no idea what that is. I'm sorry. Guys, my condo's just around the corner, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut it off, and I'm going to see you guys on the inside. Julie, wait for me. Oh, you got me? Boss, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Lemon. <clears throat> Whew. Whew. Finally made it, man. Your boy been hitting it. <laughs> yeah, I'm finally home, guys. Finally, finally home. Shit. Took too long, man. But that was my fault. You know, play is gonna mess up, but finally I'm here at the condo. I'm about to take me a wicked shower. Probably take me a nap, even though it's only in the afternoon. But hey, officially, Dr. Mike's in the Philippines. What you gonna do about me now? Stay tuned, because you sure gonna wanna keep up with the next episode. Alright?